Welcome to Lunch Break with the Candidates. Before we begin today's interview, I would like to note that with each interview you hear this week, the candidates were given the same question in regards to their respective office and allowed the same amount of time to answer each question. Today I have with me Salisol Chief of Police candidate Sandy Gardner. Thank you, Sandy, for being here today. Do you believe the city charter should be changed by the voters to give full authority of the police department to the chief? Yes, I do believe that the city charter should be changed. First of all, I believe that there should be definition as to the residency of the chief of police candidate and also I do believe that the that the chief of police should have full authority but I also believe that there should be checks and balances as in any job any profession there should be checks and balances as to what your position would hold. What do you think is the biggest strength of the Salisaw Police Department? What is the biggest weakness? The biggest strength of the Salisaw Police Department is our training and education of our department. We have over half of our officers are CLEAT certified instructors. Every year we make a list starting in January. We start making a list of all of our trainings that we're going to hold for the year. This training is available to any agency. Anytime we hold it, I believe their biggest weakness is that my officers are only as strong as my leadership, which I have not yet addressed that failure. Third question. Describe two or three accomplishments during your law enforcement career that you think have been most significant. This is a big question. From the beginning of my career with the Salisaw Police Department, all the way from tire marker, I have accomplished every task that I have set out to do. As I became a police officer, I accomplished that task as well, being the first female officer in the city of Salisaw. That was a big accomplishment for me. Becoming a lieutenant, I accomplished that task as well. And in that task, becoming a supervisor over detectives and the school resource officers, you have a great bunch of people that work with you, so it, it's an accomplishment within I believe in my Lord, and I believe that he has blessed me in so many ways. The training and education that I have received from child abuse and domestic violence training have not just helped me. They have helped the survivors in that role. You're listening to Lunch Break with the Candidate. We're going to take a short commercial break, and we'll be back after a message from our sponsors. This Lunch with the Candidates interview is brought to you by Diamond Express. Merrill Check Cashing and Storage, National Bank of Salisaw, Peters Agency Care Management, Salisaw Lumber, and Wright Home Services. Now for the conclusion of the interview. And we're back with Lunch Break with the Candidates right here on The Mix, 105.1. Now back to Salisaw Diamond Police Candidate, Sandy Gardner. Sandy, tell us why you're running for Salisaw Chief of Police. I have been asked this question many times. Now, I have to tell you that I am seeking the election of chief of police because of my values, my honesty, integrity, commitment, not only for me, but for our city. I believe in myself, and I am educated, trained, and capable to fulfill the position with honor and dignity. What additional information would you like to add to this interview that you believe our listeners need to know? It's the honor and glory of Jesus Christ to help me through everything I do. That I cannot fail if Christ is my leader. Christ provided me with vision and strength for me now and for the future. And I can say as a mixed listener, I want you to know that the city of Salisaw is a great city. It's a fair city. And it's my home. You've been listening to Lunch Break with the Candidates. I would like to note that with each interview you hear this week, the candidates were given the same question in regards to their respective office and allowed the same amount of time to answer each question. Here at The Mix, we would like to remind you to get out and vote on February 11, 2014 in the Salisaw Municipal Election for both Mayor and Salisaw Chief of Police. As always, make sure you tune in on February 11 to hear live election results right here on The Mix 105.1.